So we've got only one more episode of this till it's gone for probably another two years. This... This isn't fair. So the second episode of Series 3 of Sherlock has aired. It's titled The Sign of Three. After last episode, which was very character driven, it was basically, hey, Sherlock's back and here's the reintroduction to this world. They had a small plot line going with a terrorist attack, but that really wasn't the main focus of the story. So I hoped that in this episode they would get more into the plot because they teased the villain at the end of last episode. And this episode went a different way than I had hoped that it would, but I still enjoyed it. Because a lot of this episode is just Sherlock uh, giving his speech at John's wedding and talking about the adventures they've went on in the past few months, I guess. At first, I was like, oh, okay, we're just revisiting stuff they've done. Nothing is really progressing here. But as the episode went on and it tied in... Oh yeah, spoilers, by the way, in case... You didn't realize that. The way this episode progresses, I feel like the way it tied together at the end made it worthwhile. I did have a lot of fun with this episode. It's one of the funniest episodes of the show by far, because there's so many great moments in the show when Sherlock, basically when Sherlock's giving his speech in real time, is just, it is hilarious how uncomfortable he is, and then how he's, he, the way he uh, starts it off, it looks like it's gonna be a train wreck, then he brings it back around. That whole scene mixed comedy with heartfelt moments really well, and that's something I think the show does well as a whole. And the way this episode tells its story, it's good, it's enjoyable, the way sh the Sherlock telling the story is like, how they went on that mystery that they weren't able to solve till later on in the episode. And again, all those little stories he tell, told connected it by the end, and I thought that was great. Especially when they did the stag party one before they got to, like, the ghost woman. That was... just Sherlock Drunk was hilarious throughout the entire episode. I liked how after they met the ghost woman and he was going through the apartment trying to search for clues, he went into that Sherlock vision mode, but all it did was state basic facts about what he was seeing, like chair, and then one of the chairs he thought was an egg. <laughs> but finally, Sherlock starts putting the pieces together and realizes that someone might die here today. I honestly couldn't figure out what exactly was going to happen, because sometimes you watch the show and then you can think ahead and start putting pieces together about what's going to happen. The only thing I remembered was the fact that John's friend who was there rarely comes out in public and Sherlock talked about someone who rarely comes out in public So that's the only thing I connected and the way they finally pieced it together That was clever and how the guy got stabbed, but he didn't feel it and then he died hours later I thought that was clever I didn't see that coming and it w worked really well and the end of this episode I thought was really telling because early on in the episode you have Mrs. Hudson telling John, or was it Sherlock? I think it was Sherlock. She was telling him about how her bridesmaid left the reception early and then she barely saw her ever again. This time Sherlock, he's looking around in the reception, he, he sees that woman he was talking to earlier on, and she's dancing with another guy, and then John's with his wife, and he's basically alone, so he leaves the party early. I feel like that's a foreshadowing moment to the fact that John and and Sherlock might not be seeing each other too much in the near future or ever and that's sad I, I don't want that to happen but I feel like I hope next episode really goes into the plot more and really starts showing us this villain that we've been teased with I get the feeling next episode will go back to what Sherlock season one and two was more like it was balanced with the plot and the character moments rather than what this season has been which has been mostly character moments and I don't mind that because I like character driven material, but I'd rather the balance come back because I want to see the plot progress and these relationships move. Because we're going to have another two years until more Sherlock after the next episode, and it's like, I want something to really leave me wanting more and really just love it. Because this episode, I, I really enjoyed it. It was a great, funny episode, character-driven moments and everything. I really enjoyed it. But it wasn't knock it out of the park amazing like, say, the Reichenbach fall was. So I hope that next episode is more to that high quality. So what did you guys think of this episode? Did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Did you enjoy this episode more than the first episode? I would say I did just because of how hilarious it was. Write beautiful comments down there and tell me what you think. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button down there. Because if you don't... After the next episode, we're not getting Sherlock till 2018. Oh, that would be awful.